live from the KBJR studio, this is Friday Night Lights with Alexis Bass and Alexis Beckett, only on Northern News Now. Hello and welcome to week seven of Friday Night Lights for your home of all the high school football action from around the Northland. I'm Alexis Bass. And I'm Alexis Beckett, and you might need some water. If you guys look down South Lake Ave, you might have seen her sprinting across the street from Anzoil. But she right. made it back to the right, right. time. The We're right place. We're both in the right place. No, the that's right all that time. matters. It's time to take you up the shore and across the bridge, of course, and tonight inside of Anzoil Of course, Arena. where we all were. <laughs> that's right, Beckett. You're telling me we've got hockey on a Friday. I love to hear it. But of course, we start in the gridiron with one of the most talented teams in our area, second ranked undefeated Esco, who is coming off of a 63 to nothing win. They're taking on Hermantown, who is also coming off of a massive win while only dropping one game so far this season. Fans it. knew the caliber of this matchup as they packed the stands for this one. Hermantown down seven, but with the ball throwing in this man's direction is never a good idea. It's, you already know, Coy Parrish on the interception and with a Calvary Ooh. in front of him, he eventually finds his way in the end zone the for the pick Every six. Time. Esco leads 14-0. Very next drive, and it's deja vu for Esco. Parrot with the INT, and he takes it all to the house. And you know who likes that. Maybe his future coach, PJ Fleck, watching his recruit in action. Oh, hello, PJ. Hey, but PJ. Hermantown would get on the board in the second as well. It's junior Alex Shaw on the QB sneak. Now the Hawks only trail by 14. But the human highlight reel would strike again. Esco offense finally back out there in its Parrot with his third tutty of the first half. Just the first half. Living in the end zone. Esco would continue to roll in the second half and remain undefeated as they win 41 to seven over H-Town. And now to the rain and the wind at Denfeld. We jump right in. Rockridge driving on fourth down. They hand the ball off to Ryan Herberg, who's tackled very close to the, to the line gain and had to bring the change out to measure this one. The Hunters come up with the fourth down stop. After the turnover on downs, if you thought we wouldn't have a tight money man's long touchdown, there he you're is. obviously mistaken. He takes his hand off 55 Woo. yards, tiptoeing down the sideline to score. Does his best. Bo Jackson impression running off the field. It's 12 nothing hunters but rock bridge would answer themselves it's herberg on the handoff again but this time he won't be stopped short he lowers the shoulder to get into the end zone rock bridge trails 12 8 at the half but the hunters would pitch a second half shutout on defense they take the victory over rock bridge 28 to 8. Go on. up on the range we go to the nine man rings for the most anticipated matchup of the year this yes, one sir. happened on thursday night football no amazon prime password needed for the battle of the undefeated third ring <laughs> cherry and top ranked rain state champions mountain iron buell but the first half would shock the entire range both teams averaging 65 points a game but held one another to yeah nothing so right here in the third quarter is where the rangers put some Ooh. points on the board the gate inclines right in the breadbasket of landon kneifel we've got a touchdown at last and a two-point conversion it's eight nothing it might be but those cherry tigers wanted some offensive production too Noah Sonny Sunquist looking for Mason Heitzman, okay. but Ranger senior, senior Damian Tapio does what he does, robs the ball, Tigers turn over, and MIB turns it into something else. Kleins calls his own number, number six, for a reservation for six, and the Rangers Shut tack on right. another, daddy, <laughs> another two-point conversion. And what do you know, another win to remain undefeated. It's MIB over Cherry, 28-6 to six, the final. And now we head to good old Maple, Wisconsin for the Northwestern versus Blue Ring game. We're early in the first quarter. Ethan Harms play action. He's going to air this one out because you already know who's down there somewhere. It's Bowden the boy, Teal. Makes the catch and then some into the end zone for 52 yards. Tigers touchdown. And then just two minutes later, it's Tigers ball again. I couldn't find the ball at first, but I get bet you can take a guess. Bowden Teal on wheels this time. Takes Wheel the hands off. And guys, he's out of there at a 50-plus yard run. Rushing touchdown to his stats as well. Tigers go up 14-0. Still in the first with the same score. Tigers lined up within the 10. It's Bryce Raji who will barrel his way into the end zone for a touchdown. And Northwestern will take this one a lot. <laughs> and over in Wisconsin, Hayward took the victory over the Ordockers of Ashland 26-6. And Chippewa Falls comes into Superior to spoil, yeah, the Sparty Party it's winning a defensive the battle, party. ten to six. And back in Minnesota, Grand Rapids had their offense humming, defeating Cloquet forty to fifteen. And Pe Pequot Lakes emptied the tanks against the Proctor Rails, winning sixty-one to eight. And then more action from Minnesota. North Branch crushes Duluth East fifty-six to fourteen. A Deer River defense.
defense pitches the shutout as they move 5-2 to two with a win over Brom, going 28 to nothing. And two harbors with a big win at home, 45 oh, nothing over Pine City. And Misabi East adds one to the win column with a 14-0 win over Hinkley. Man, Beckett, can you believe that's our last regular season games on Friday? I can't. I can't. You you blink and... You blink and you're here. You are you blink and you're, you blink and Alexis Bass is <laughs> running out of empty. <laughs> but don't worry, we're not going anywhere. We still got more football for you and have some more hockey for well, you. Of course. When we come back, we've got hockey. We go inside Amsoil because Bulldog Hockey is back full swing. Plus, the best part of the night is still to come. If Best. you know, you know. You know. That's all, all next. next.